This, this is the other style. You can't see them right now. They're up on top. They're a little bigger. Um, these have what's called a KN nut. So in this day and age, manufacturing these in longer lengths is really hard. So this is a KN nut, and it's basically a rigid bolt that you put a ball socket in. And that's what those longer ones are. Same idea, though. Exactly the same. It's just an extra one. Um, those are, I think, WRs, maybe. But, so the point of a flexible inspection is simply, if these were through-drilled all the way up into the head, we wouldn't have to pull these. You could actually do it a different means. But, since they're not, you're basically checking, because that's the breaking point, if any of these are broken. And uh, you have to do it every five years. So all you got to do is pull the cap off, hammer it, and you should be able to hear it's broken. And those aren't. Because it's ringing everything. Because it's ringing. Yeah. And now and again, if you're really lucky, the ball will just fall out when you hit it. <laughs> then you know it's broken. <laughs> <laughs> but um, in theory, we, we'll do this whole thing and won't find a broken one. And that's fine. That's good. That's good. Um, so the only thing we're doing by removing stuff is gaining access. So if we've removed anything that didn't involve needing to get access to these, then we did. Um, here's the problem. Get more of these. But basically all you do, you take air. I mean, air is probably the better way, but you're basically cleaning up threads. And you're also wanting to inspect the sleeves and all that and make sure everything looks good. The caps, there's no reason to, you really don't. We have extra caps and stuff. We even have extra sleeves if we've got one that's really messed up and we can change the bolts. So the nylon washers seal the cap? Mm -hmm. That's all it is. And uh, so the sealing surface is this. And looks like we should be cleaning those. That's one thing we can be doing. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, in here, and that's where you want to make sure this. You probably need to get a little smaller wire, wire brush or something. Yeah, yeah. Over there, some, some air. But basically, <clears throat> here's the other key. Put, put this stuff on it. But yeah, gasket just goes in there. They should fit pretty good. And then the anti-seize on it. And that, that needs more cleaning, so I'm not going to put it back together just yet permanently. But that should go on there and then get tightened down up against that. That's it. So are you guys, are you the inspector? Do we have no. somebody that comes from Fed to look at this? No. 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 It's just a part of the process. Well, they'll come they'll for the hydro, like they'll yeah, want to witness a hydrostatic test okay. on it. Okay. Um, but Somebody is going to have to sign a form declaring that all this was done. Yes. Satisfactory. It'll be my third one this year. They all signed it for this. So. But the idea is you're, we do it and verify that it's yes. been done. It's just part of the so, process, and you yeah. do it every five years. Every fifth annual. I guess for today, so we'll get a crew together. We do need to get all this mud from about here to here, up and over. That's all got to come off because that's where all these longer ones are. Yeah. And then we need to take those two panels off. These two rows continue through. And that's it. After, I mean, there's like this bracket and some minor stuff. But like pretty much everything else looks like it's exposed at this point. Um, so we can finish that. Um, and then we can take these panels. I want to cut them nicely right above those rows. And we're going to overlap them so the next one. <coughs> We don't have to take everything off and put the top. We'll make those lower sections separate. Um, and that's it. So. Are you sure you're doing it right, John? No, I'm not calibrated to do it. I've never heard a bad one. We're good, John? Good test? I think so. Okay. Once you get some air out of here, I'll throw the gaskets in and I see them and lock them down. Okay. okay. Can, can, can you knock again? So we can record the sound. Sounds good. So it's we are basically listening for some dull ring. sound. A ring. Yeah. A ring. So, so. Oh yeah, yeah. That that that. So you can tell that's yeah, attached the, the, to the. 
the resonance of the yeah. Yeah, yeah, if it if it doesn't rain, then it's broken. Mm -hmm. The mechanical bonds break. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. <laughs> We've not now. Let's, <laughs> let's start this fire. <laughs> and it's in a box, right? And it can go out through these tubes. And the whole thing is surrounded by water. Right? Yep. But we recognize that we have to have stables to hold these flat surfaces. Mm -hmm. Right? The tubes are holding this surface and yeah. this one. Yeah. And this was probably made with all rigid all stables. Rigid, yeah, yeah. Look at where the flexible ones have been added. Okay? Uh -huh. They're at the front of the firebox primarily. Uh -huh. And this, this region of the firebox will be the hottest because that fire is going like so. Yeah. Actually, I'm... The oil burning fire comes out of the burner down low and makes a loop like that. Anyway. So that corner you, is, is the hottest, basically. The, that's a real hot region. Mm -hmm. So if you if you think about just this sheet that has all these tubes mm -hmm. and the sides of the firebox in this region they're going to expand and get longer. Even though it's cooled by water, those mm -hmm. will be hotter. They'll get... That sheet will get longer. This, this yeah. point will move up. Wow. Okay. Uh-huh. So we put in something like this. Uh-huh. This is fastened to the sheet. This is fastened to the the wrapper, which is yeah, the yeah. on the outside. And when this when this sheet tries to grow, that can lift mm -hmm. off its seat. When that sheet gets real hot. This is free to lift off. Yeah, just yeah. a little bit. A rigid would have to try to buckle, mm -hmm. and they yeah. crack. Yeah, yeah. So, that's why they started putting in flexies. Yeah.